All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem that says two forces, F1 and F2, act on the screw eye. If their lines of action are at angle theta, which is this one, apart the magnitude of each force, F1 equals to F2, which equals to F, determine the magnitude of the resultant force and the angle between FR, F1, and F2. So if I tell you that these two forces are exactly the same, then you know that the resultant force is going to be this way straight to the right and if I redraw the parallelogram of F1 over here it's gonna be something like this and this is gonna be your triangle and these two are gonna be equal to F this is gonna be equal to FR and this is gonna be theta and this is going to be 180 minus theta. Now that we get our diagram, let's get some calculations done. They're asking you for the magnitude of FR and theta. So this is what we're looking for. FR and theta. Now how do we find FR? Well, with the cosine with the law cosines. cosines. Now the law cosine says that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times C cosine of C. Now you need to follow my trail of thought here. C it's going to be FR and A and B are going to be F which doesn't matter they're in interchangeable so FR square is equal to F square plus F square minus 2 times F times F times the cosine of angle C is the one opposite to the side C so 180 minus theta. Now we're going to simplify this a little bit. We're going to add these two f's together. We're going to get 2f squared, just adding these two together, minus 2f squared by multiplying these two f's together, cosine of 180 minus theta. Now we're going to factor out this 2f squared. Don't forget that on this side we still have a, a fr square. Now we factor out the 2f square. We get 1 minus 1 times cosine of 180 minus theta. Now we're going to start playing with that. Um, 1 minus cosine of 180 minus theta. For that we're going to use some trigonometric uh, identities. This is one of the trigonometric identities we're going to use first. We know that cosine of an angle plus 180 is equal to the negative cosine of said angle. And we're going to use that over here, 2f squared parenthesis 1 minus now we know that cosine of 180 minus theta is going to be negative cosine of negative theta now we further simplify this and we know that 1 plus cosine of negative theta now this is another thing that we know we know that cosine of the negative of an angle is equal to the cosine of the same angle. It's the same thing. Remember how the cosine graph looks like. It looks something like this, but it's the same reflection on this side. So this holds true, which means that this can be further simplified into 2f squared 1 plus cosine of theta and now 
to further simplify this, we know that 1 plus the cosine of theta over 2 is equal to cosine of square of theta over 2. So we're going to plug that into our formula over here. Let me move this the equation over here since I wrote kind of close. So we know that 2f square is equal to look we're going to have to slightly modify this to make this work. So we're going to replace it with 1 plus cosine of theta over 2 times 2. This is this is the same thing as this. Okay? So now we can replace this part we're going to get 4f squared, this 2 times this 2, times cosine squared of theta over 2. And remember on this side we still have the fr squared. So we square root the whole thing, we're going to get that fr is equal to 2f cosine of theta over 2 and this is the magnitude of FR now we need to find the angle I told you that these two forces are are the same so just by looking at it if I tell you what will phi be you can tell me that phi is going to be theta over 2 I would just say that but if for some reason they ask you for some sort of uh, explanation like mathematical explanation remember you can always prove it with the law of signs let me see if I got enough space law of signs remember the law of signs uh, let me see where they write this okay let me let me write over here the law of signs says that a over sine of angle A is equal to B over sine of angle B which is equal to C over sine of angle C so if you got this big triangle I'm talking about uh, this triangle right here you could say F let's say this F and let's call this angle like this and let's call this angle Phi right so f over sine of is equal to f over sine of uh, phi but you know that this angle and this angle are the same so you could let me continue this over here you could say that f over sine is equal to f over sine of theta let's actually make this phi make more sense or phi which means that theta minus phi is equal to phi and if you solve for theta you're gonna get that I mean sorry if you solve for phi you're gonna get that theta over 2 is equal to phi which is what I was telling you right here but just by looking at it you can tell that if the force is gonna be straight this way and this is like uh, symmetrical you just gotta divide it by 2 just by looking at it you can tell so this is the angle and this is the force final answer